to make a a uh, logo which using b denim animating it using a b denim exposure so let's get started make a new comp and go to the pc settings and select hdtv 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 720 and 25 pixels and we are going to make it uh, 15 seconds longer and press ok and we have created a comp now right click on the comp and go to new select solid i am going to use a dark grey color we will be using exposure on it so and that's why i am using a dark color you will see what i mean later ok it's perfect now let's import our logo file here right click on the project panel and go to import and select file and go to the logo you want to import or you can also add text here I am importing my logo here select and drag it to the comp panel its scale is very high so let's make it maybe 12% perfect let's pick up both it logo and press ok now press duplicate it using Ctrl D and select select the top logo and go to FX and preset and select faster. Here you can double click the faster or drag it over the layer or go to the effect presets. I'm double clicking on the faster so it will automatically automatically apply on the my layer. Select the make sure you have selected the layer and double click on the faster here it will apply the faster on the layer. Maybe we can use the brightness to 15. Here we go, it's looking good. Go to the bottom layer, select the bottom layer. If you can't see the treatment settings here, go to the toggle and switch modes and right click on it. It will change the options. Go to the track matte settings, select alpha matte logo, and you can see we have a nice looking logo here. Select both layers and pick up all it logo pre comp. Okay, we are good to start. Let's import our sound file. I am using a Levico beat here. Its name is hard for me. I will put the link in the description below. Let's import the beat in the our composition and right click on the beat, select keyframe assistant and select convert audio to keyframes. It will make keyframes for our audio beats. If you click on this triangle and fx you can see it's, it has created so many keyframes here we are also going to use this both channel slider here i can make it i should make it bigger so we can see here what what is going on open the select the logo precom and press p here here you will get position settings if you cannot see the other options here go to the toggle switches here mode we are going to make this layer 3D so it will bounce you throw bounce through 3D space. Select this box here and it will make this our our layer 3D. Here you can see it is giving us three dimensions. Press uh, double press the P on the keyboard and P, our P position will appear. Right click on the position, select separate dimensions. Here we will get our all dimensions uh, separately. Select the Z position, make it 20, and then I hold the H key and the right square bracket in. Oh, sorry, hold the H key and left click on the Z position on this small watch. It will turn this text to red color. Here you can see. Uh, spiral it's called it is, uh, it is uh, we are going to write the expression don't worry we are not really gonna write the expression we are just going to select this 
slider expression to work with our position so let's select and hold the picket drag it to the slider and our work is done here you can see nothing is going but on the 15 seconds our logo is animating it is just because i am using my beat star my real beat star on the 50 seconds let's select the beat hold the edge key and right press the left uh, uh, square bracket we have left our audio here go to the start of our call timeline and press square bracket left square bracket and here we have dragged our beat here now it is starting it 15 seconds but you can't see just because I clipped it then delete this audio amplitude layer right click on the audio layer go to keyframe assistant convert audio to frames and now we have converted again this uh, audio layer to keyframes and just because we have already added expression for the logo to uh, work with audio amplitude we don't have to make it again it is with it is the same name of the last layer we have deleted and let's now play this let's see how it is working here you can see a little bit beat here our half work is done let's preview this using here you can see it works you can also apply it to x axis y axis or all three directions using the same method and you also apply this to a text or image anything you want to let's play this it's working great let's enable uh, let's say the and uh, adjustment right click on the cone go to new and select adjustment layer <laughs> rename it exposure and go to effects and controls then go to effects and presets and write Exp make it, maybe you can go to effect make sure you select the exposure layer go to effect go to color correction <coughs> and search for the exposure here it is uh, left click on it it will get, get exposure effect on the <coughs> cover adjustment layer if we increase it here you can see we are applying a brightness to our comp but if we apply it too much it will disappear so we have to carefully apply this to our layer go to the amplitude audio amplitude settings effects and open the both channels tab and try hold the edge key and press exposure button or uh, here you can see what right click on uh, left click on it you will get an expression here drag the picket to the audio amplitude layer and go to the both channels and leave it on the slider button here you can see it is very high here you can see uh, the safe area is only 10 and it's going to 15, 19. So click on the left click on the expression and add the multiply button. It is called artistic and uh, it is also called multiply button. Write 0.1. So we are going to multiply this whole expression with 0.1 and it's going to lower this exposure value. So let's start again here you can see we are applying this beautiful exposure expression here it's looking good and great it is also working with our audio beat let's play it again can see it is way much better the only thing it is maybe our text is getting a very little bit go to 
press this triangle button right next to this logo pico then uh, and then go to the expression click on it and add this maybe 20 now we display this Here you can see we have very little blur we have applied earlier. We cannot see it. Let's close it. Go double click on the logo precom. Here you will get the old log logo comp here. Go to the first logo and select the blur range to 20 plus 20 and we get very dark edges on with the corners. Let's go to back to the comp one. After it is updated still I guess this exposure is very high but it works our work is done but I am going to teach you an additional step here how to apply a beautiful color to it a random color here right click on the composition go to new and add an adjustment layer here, here. Select it. Random colors. And again, we are going to go to effects and presets. And we need hue and saturation. Make it smaller so we can see the hue and saturation. And double click. Make sure you select the random colors and double click the hue and saturation. It will automatically apply our effect to this press the colorize button it will colorize our whole form and go to the colorization colorize saturation and make it 100 it looks very beautiful and here you can see colorize you if you change the value it keeps changing the colors so we are going to animate this uh, this option with the beat so let's keep. again go to the audio amplitude uh, up, open the both channels and go to random colors and make it a little bit bigger hold the edge key and press this little word button next to the colorize view after that we will get an expression check the spiral key spiral option this is slider option and boom here you can see the changing of colors but you will be noticing it is a very uh, we can see very little colors maybe red to orange nothing more click on right click on this expression here we got a uh, red multiplier sign and maybe make it 360 now let's we can we get many few many new colors here let's play this it is very fast this color but we don't think it's very high uh, in this I am making this value to 200 I think it's good let's play it again it's still too high maybe we should change the multiple set maybe plus 360 let's play it again Nothing very much happened. I guess multiply by plus multiply by five. Here you can see many colors popping out here. It's good. But it is very, very 